You know, the first thing I do when I have a video idea in my mind is I go to Epidemic Sound or Music Bed and I scroll through their library and I try to find the right track. How's it going? My name is Jussi. I'm a freelance filmmaker and this channel is all about videography and video editing tips and tutorials without wasting your time. In this tutorial I'll teach you how to clone yourself in a video and also how to do it with a time lapse. Also, if you want to learn how to do it with a gimbal movement, I'll link my last week's tutorial at the end of this video. So here are the three different clips that I shot for the clone effect with my camera on a tripod and these last two clips are the time-lapse videos. If we look at this first clip you can see my microphone on the upper left corner but we're gonna mask that out. First drag the second clip on top of the first clip. Then drag the opacity down to about 70%. Then mask the first guy and remember to leave the boom mic out. Then go to the effect controls, set the mask feather to around 45 and the mask expansion to around 20. Let's make the video fit the screen and see how it looks. Then select both of the videos, right click and nest the videos into one single clip. Then drag the third clip on top of the nested video, go to effect controls and drag the opacity to 70%. Select the masking tool and mask the clones on the left side. Change mask feather to around 45 and mask expansion to 20. And let's see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Now let's nest them all into one clip. Okay, now that the simple clone version is done, let's go to the time-lapse version. Without going too deep into time-lapses, I recommend using an intervalometer or if possible, your camera's inbuilt time-lapse feature so you can shoot individual raw photos with a slow shutter speed to get that cinematic looking motion blur to make it look a lot more professional. Okay, now we're in Lightroom and I've created my own folder for the time lapse here. Then import all the raw photos from the location folder into Lightroom. Then select one raw photo and do a light edit to it until it looks good enough. Then type Ctrl plus C to copy paste the edit you did to it. Then go to the square grid. Go to edit and select all. Then type Ctrl plus V to copy the edit you did to all of the photos. Then save all the photos as JPEGs into one folder. Then 
Then let's go back to Premiere, right click and import. Select the first photo and make sure image sequence is selected and click open. Now drag this file to the timeline. Change the size to 65 so it fits. And as you see it automatically combined all the photos into a time lapse video. Right click, mark selection and export the time lapse video as an individual video clip so it will be easier to edit the rest of the effect. Then repeat the same thing to the second time lapse video with the guy sitting on the right side of the couch and import both of the exported time lapse videos into Premiere and combine them into one time lapse video using the same masking and nesting techniques that I just showed you. And here's the time lapse video and the regular video of me drinking beer. Let's drag the video on top of the time lapse, bring the opacity down, select the masking tool and start masking. Then change the mask feather to 80 and leave the mask expansion to 0. Okay, now it looks pretty good, but the color of the shirt of the guy in the middle doesn't look quite as same as the two others. And that's because the time lapse was shot as raw photos and the beer drinking was shot as a regular video with S-Log2 picture profile and it was color graded a little bit differently. So now let's go to HSL secondary panel to tweak the colors of the shirt a little bit to make the mask better. Click key and use this pen tool to select the color of the shirt. If you click color slash gray, you can see the mask of the shirt and tweak it. Use denosing and blur to make the color change blend in more and look more natural. And then just tweak the colors until it looks close enough compared to the two other shirts. Then nest the time lapse and video into one clip. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about videography and video editing, subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so you won't miss any of my new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Take care.